like you. Girls go to Jupiter. No, wait. Do we consider it a pie? Well, welcome one, welcome all to the fifth annual Freshly Cooking Competition. Tonight, you'll be divided into teams of two and tasked with making a pie. Of course, you must incorporate your season of the year and your two ingredients into your pie. You will have one hour to make and plate your dish for our expert judges over here. They'll be judging on four criteria this evening. One, creativity. Two, presentations. Three, incorporation of your theme and your ingredients. And four, is it a pie? Your one hour starts now. What kind of experience do you have you know, with making food, was, pies in general? I was one of the all-stars of the Wesley cooking class. So our plan is we're gonna go out on a limb and we're gonna make a savory pie, not a sweet pie. So we're gonna like try to incorporate more. Like this is hot, summer's hot. All right, we're doing cheese and flour. Cheese and flour. Right, this is flour. We've got evaporated milk, unsweetened. We're gonna throw some pickles on the inside, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of the juice and the mixture with the sausage and the how are you guys going for the cauliflower tonight? What's the what's the theory behind that? Well, you know, you can you can make cauliflower like disappear into things, but just like add it as like a thickener. You guys as a thickener? A thickener. A thickener. A thickener. Your thought was the famous movie Ratatouille, the the evil chef writer person who ends up being sweet and yeah, yeah. Um, is like taken back in time to his like childhood memories with Ratatouille. And so that's kind of like the inspiration is like that homeliness that you feel at home. I can't hop in to save my life. Someone sneezed. Oh. All right. <laughs> We're, we're done. We're done. I washed my hands. Did you? I didn't I get did. it proof. I, I did wash my hands. I'm trying to get it to a doughy consistency enough that I can like pull it out and like yeah. eat it. What's in it? Egg, milk, and flour. We need a little bit of salt. Any sort of flour, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you might need one more. It's kind of stuck to my hands. Oh, look at that amazing macaroni and cheese that he has made. I can hardly believe it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That is truly incredible. Egg flour. <laughs> it goes with the egg o. Stretch it like salt. Like gravity do the work. Never thought I would do this. I might as well be making a pizza at this point. This would be fun. What? We could have made a pizza pizza. Mind your business. I'm okay. Ah. I love you. There's the milk. Dang it! You don't need milk. I just put eggs because I couldn't find milk for my flour. Oh, you can take it now. No one's stopping you. I mean, it might be nice to add. Oh, found it. What? Where's the milk? What milk? That everyone can use it. I don't know. Where's the milk? I don't got the milk. Did you use all the milk? No, I didn't use it. Where is it? You want a blueberry? No, I want the milk. You want some ready whip? No. You want some brown sugar? Where do you think you're gonna land? Yeah. Where the milk is? It's in the men's restroom. You put the milk in the men's restroom? <laughs> yes, I did, because nobody would give me the milk. And now they're like, where's the milk? And I'm like, karma. What's the problem here? The milk. What's wrong? Wait, Charles what do you mean? Don't tell me where the milk is. Oh, sorry. Where is it? Did you use all of it? Ah! So we're here on the scene, all right? You know, with a secret camera. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the milk. Now, we were told by our sources, it's hiding, and look, boom, there it is. We got a judge as a witness right here. Anyway. I got to go confer with the judge and see if this is allowed. <laughs> this looks horrible. Wow, thanks. Well, I'm just keeping it honest. All right. This is a vegan pie. This is, yeah, vegan pie. I don't know if this is vegan. With hot sauce. And also we're using cheese. Brine sausage, tomato sauce, and 
make it edible. This is our cheese, uh, pickle juice and milk. Put that thing on the back. <laughs> what are you doing? This is a fair competition. Says who? I'm talking to the one with the pickle milk cheese spoon in their hand, alright? That's not all the way on the burner. Uh-huh. 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 Scratch. Okay, that's fair. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I think we're gonna need to throw some more on because it's not fully really covered. Yeah. Hey Hannah, check check this out. Oh, Wait, close your nose. Close your nose. Why are you proud of that? The box is just fine. Everyone is being overdramatic for no reason. Splash me with water in the face. Mm. She almost blinded me actually. I hit the spam. <laughs> I hit it in the bathroom. I'm bored now. Bro, you Come gotta through. close that oven. All that grand determination is going from not throwing up. <laughs> Waiting on the pie to be cooked. But like, it just, it seems solid enough to eat it right now. So like, I don't know, I don't know what to judge it. You're just waiting for the crust to bake. I yeah, want to take basically. this person out and dump it on the table. I never said, I never claimed to be a baker. What's this going on back? Oh yeah. Oh, I've never said nothing about this egg. What do you mean? Hypothetically, whoever took the spam should wait until five minutes so that way you can see him panic. <laughs> you only have cutting boards, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm committed Sorry. to the bit. I'm mad that y'all's about to taste snack. Can I have some of it? Looks like we're frying something, okay? Uh, sauteing. 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 Excuse me. Kiwi I'm saying, watch yourself. Oh, don't kill me! <laughs> Come here, Kiwi. Hey, Siri. Set timer for five minutes. He's cheating. He's on his phone. Hannah, let's, let's say I've never had pie before. Paint me a verbal picture of what this thing will taste like in my mouth. Um, hot. Hot? Okay. Like, it's gonna be like warm and gooey and just dissolve like no, It's gonna like burn your insides. Cause we look like a rat. That's not That looks disgusting. Yeah. Y'all should fight about it. Not my teammate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I will defend it. <laughs> This is definitely not edible. Hi. A lot of seasoning. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, well, any, can you not, can you not any, handle the seasoning? Nope, I'm white. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me, we're, we're, we're discussing our last, our last, our last will and testament. So, if you could give us some privacy, thank you. Yeah, they took my spam. That's all right. So, what are you gonna do about it? You know what? That actually helps me because, you know, I'm gonna lose this competition no matter what. And now it doesn't have to taste as bad. That's the one. Yes? Go for it. <laughs> this one actually smells good. Yeah. I think it's the crust. Who would want to eat spam with this? It's already bad enough. Okay, this guy's is a good trick. Yeah. 
I don't like raisins, but oh, that was the ingredient that we gave you. <laughs> that is, I'm sorry, but that's I'm, I'm contractually obligated to include raisins. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. So these represent leaves. Are you guys ready for a winter wonderland? A winter winter wonderland? Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, what's 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 blue? You know, that's a good question. What do you mean? Is that toothpaste? It's like icing with Cool Whip and marshmallows. Oh, this is ketchup, by the way. It's not spicy. Nord, tell me how you feel about your pie. Fantastic. <laughs> Team one, tell us your theme, your ingredients, and how you pulled it all together into this wonderful creation we have here. Okay, our theme was spring. You can see with the flowers and the meat and vegetable rainbow, right? Our secret ingredients were the summer sausage and pickles, which the pickles are part of the flour and also incorporated into the casserole-like sauce inside. There's sausage inside the pie and it's topped with cheese. It makes me happy to look at it. I can roll with it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, Panama. Your sausage was cooked really well, and honestly, it kind of all weirdly fits together. There's a weird mush here. Now, I will not lie, I'm not a huge fan of. I appreciate mysteries, but I don't really like trying to guess what all this went on. Up next, we have team two with the pineapple raisin cake. We, we got, the summer was our theme, right? So what we decided was we got two ingredients, raisins and um, buffalo sauce. We were like, you know what? Let's not go with a traditional pie like Charles. Boring competitor, honestly. Um, but not go with a sweet pie. We want to go with a more tangy and uh, you know, down southern, maybe like summer cookout kind of theme. Yeah. So we have a lot of vegetables, more savory things, some cheese in there, topped it with a nice thin crust. And we went in with some more cheese. And for decoration, we were like, let's make sunflowers. Because what's more summer than sunflowers? Okay. So we used the raisins to our advantage there because we had pineapple. Put the raisins in the middle for the black pit of a sun power, sun, sunflower. Sunflower. <laughs> and then these are little vines connecting it. And then just little garnishes of red. I also, I like, I like the incorporation of the sunflowers. That's very creative. Ooh. Oh my god, there's a lot going on in here. Moment of truth. <laughs> it all fell apart. Oh no. Alright. <laughs> Good, right? <laughs> it's definitely summer, because I'm definitely getting a heat stroke. Uh, somehow it is. It's not good. <laughs> somehow it's bland, and at the same time, just full of flavor, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's almost like the flavors don't make sense for what you created. I think I, I already spoke. I think I'm just kind of done, but uh, the pineapple was pretty good. Team winner, we have Charles, team of one. My dish, you use a spoon to eat it. I had Eggo Pop-Tart, which I should say is not great at all. I've had it before, I love Pop-Tarts, I couldn't get through them. And then, uh, oh, what was the other one? Spam. But, because of my actions of stealing the, mi the milk, my Spam went missing, which means I'm automatically disqualified. It's kind of like the winter, you know, in the south where like, the snow's kind of melting away and like the snow plow comes through and pushes all that nice grimy stuff to the side of the road. Dude, that's it's like exactly that kind of winter. Wow, yeah, that's, that's the ah. accurate winter of the south. Really? That's so hard. There's water, bro. <laughs> this is so all right. wet. This is <laughs> so <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this all at once, right? Wait, I don't have wait, a... wait, wait, wait for the Why is it so wet? <laughs> all right, ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Damn, it was broken. It kind of works. <laughs> I got two out of three. No. I just got a spoonful of icing and just, it might just be a texture thing on my part because it was just mush. I feel like it was a truly special case where depending on where your spoon went in, you just got a completely different experience. <laughs> like, it's just kind of across the board. I think Danny got that massive wet spot and we kind of avoided it. It would probably give me diabetes, but it kind of worked for that one spoonful.
So our pie was based off of fall, and our two ingredients were fruity pebbles and tomatoes. tomatoes. So, um, you know, one thing that brought like to my mind was like the movie Ratatouille. And that's kind of what fall is for me. It's like, like nostalgia. that nostalgia, home, comfort food. So we made a Ratatouille themed pie, and then we have our fruity pebbles around the edges, um, mixed with a tomato based sauce. Um, in order to represent leaves. Um, so you have to get the full experience with it. Yeah. Inside we have um, celery, cucumbers, what are called? carrots, and tomatoes, and some cauliflower. And they're all seasoned with my special blend of seasonings. Um, alrighty, uh, judges, enjoy. Oh, also presentation, there's a, a, a Remy on it for Ratatouille. Aesthetically unique. Yeah, I'm really digging like the leaf pile that kind of ends up when you like push everything around to the edge of the yard. I think it really captures fall very well. It has been pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, the pebbles add a good crunch um, and like it's not actually that sweet, which is interesting. Is it, is it pie? Mm. <laughs> you know what, that's for us to discuss at a later um, <laughs> All right, one sentence analysis. How do you think you placed? Now that you heard the judges. I did. I said one sentence! So my roommate's on one of the other teams, and uh, when she was cooking, it kind of smelled like doo-doo, so. My roommate is on the other team, <laughs> and <laughs> she stole our idea for the flowers. 100%, I feel like we did not have, we didn't have a single bad comment. I think we did a really solid job. I think we're pretty well up there. Yeah. All right. They loved our filling, they loved our pie, they loved our design, and the fruity pebbles worked, which I thought was a toss-up. So, yeah, I'm feeling confident we're gonna be number one. It made me a little bit nervous. Um, I like the fact that they liked how it looked. The... My boyfriend is on one of the other teams, and I'm just, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about his pie. The, the curly hair is a bit suspicious. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, Ellie, <and> Eli, anything? <laughs> curly hair I have curly hair. It's wavy. Ooh, it's, it's yeah. Wavy. Aiden, you got a comment? No, the curly hair is suspicious. <laughs> I do have an apology to give. And that's none! Is this a pie? Because it's literally just icing. I don't think this is a pie. Yeah, I don't think this is a pie. It really does hold up. It's like, it doesn't hold up. The only thing I don't like about this one is it doesn't feel like it's cooked through all the way. No. Would you be willing to try part of it that wasn't the soup? So like the, the vegetables. I think flavor-wise, it was still my favorite. I have the honor of giving last place for the fifth annual Freshly Cooking Competition. Unfortunately, Charles, you were fourth place. Unfortunately, there are just two that are a bit a cut above the other one. And for third place, we must go with Summer. All right. Like I said, none of these were good. Uh, these were good, but given the, our options, I believe that me and Daniel were robbed last year and the year before, so I would like to give us the honorary title of winner of the fifth year. Dude, 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 no. Step in. I, that was not You know what? Oh. You know what? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm on board with this. No, you know, he convinced okay. me. Really did. The real winner. <laughs> Do you, are you, we gonna say, or? Okay. I will take it. Back. The winner is Fall. Yeah! How do you guys feel? Really, really good. Um, I'm feeling amazing. Yeah. I'm really proud of us. I am you too. Know? Good. Anything you guys wanna say to mom and dad back home? Um, do you wanna go or do you want me to go? You, you can go okay. first. Mom. I'm sorry I never learned how to cook. Um, I'm good try. Yeah. Thank you to my first boyfriend in high school for teaching me how to make ratatouille. It, it really came through right now. Well, there we go. Freshly winners right here. Fifth annual. Woo!